Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and I am here with Emily, owner of Purity Day Spa and longtime supporter of the Dragonfly Home. Would you like to introduce yourself and say a little bit about your involvement with Dragonfly? Yeah, so I started giving to Dragonfly personally, um, it was probably like I don't even know how long ago, but it was a while ago. It's your from so, the beginning. Probably yeah. from the beginning. Um, you lose track of time. Mm -hmm. But um, I then started Purity five years ago, and shortly after, we started um, doing some sponsorship things as well. So I got started with Dragonfly. My friend Taylor was like really involved and still is, but in the very beginning, and so. She was like, you have to come to this meeting. And so, um, you know, I went not really thinking anything of it, but um, I was just shocked and horrified by some of the things that were um, really that they educated us on in the meeting. And so I was like, this is crazy. We have to get involved some way. Yeah. So that kind of gives kind of an intro into how you did start to get involved. Mm -hmm. Was there anything else that stuck out to you as like, I, this is driving me to want to take action. Just something yeah. about like human trafficking that just really like struck your heart. Um, I feel like unless you are educated on human trafficking, it just kind of seems like it's not real. Mm -hmm. um, then the more you start learning about it, it's just, it's so wrong on so many levels. And I feel, I just felt like called to it um and whenever I first started to get involved um I did not have kids and I still was just like if any woman man child is put in this position it is so crazy to me and then after I had kids I felt even like deeper about that because yeah. there's so many children too mm -hmm. that are completely innocent and like cannot protect themselves and so um I feel like every year I feel like a deeper passion for it. Absolutely. Your support has been very impactful over the years. We're so grateful to have had you really from the beginning. <laughs> it's been eight years since Dragonfly started serving uh, clients. So it's yeah. been, been awesome to see the growth over that time. So it was the beginning. I'm like, it, it was, was like 10 yeah. years ago. Eight eight years. Years. Yep, you're okay. right there. Yeah. Um, so in your time of being involved with Dragonfly, did there any like memories or times that have like stood out, things you remember? Um, I went to, um, it was like a painting class and it was a sponsorship for Dragonfly and it was also in the beginning. And the artist that was guiding us to paint a Dragonfly, she said, you know, at first I did monetary donations because I just didn't think I could have the emotional capacity to get involved and like help survivors like one on one. But she was like, I just kept like feeling prompted to do it. And so then she did get involved and she's like, it was so life changing and God made it to where I didn't even have like, um, obviously you have like emotional, like trauma a little bit from it just hearing stories like that over and over as you're helping people but she's like relieved from it at the same time and so I just really remember that because I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way mm -hmm. I don't think I could handle getting involved because it would really impact me and like I don't think I could handle it and so it was really um encouraging for me mm -hmm. and so um that's why I at that time, I got more involved. And so, you know, she was probably just made a comment and didn't even think anything of it. But yeah. it was one of those things that stuck with me. Yeah, that's so impactful, truly. So as a longtime supporter, if there was someone out there watching this that they feel like they're, they have a passion to get involved in the mm -hmm. fight against human trafficking, uh, whether that be becoming a monetary donor or volunteering with Dragonfly, mm -hmm. uh, but they're just, they're on the fence. They're not sure. Uh, you know what what they should do at the moment what's something you would like to say to them um i think the first thing is uh if i'm not sure about something if you're spiritual you pray about it um to get guidance on it but also there's no downside for putting your time or money into this cause because you're truly helping people you're changing people's lives yeah that's great that's awesome
Um, and then finally, if any of our survivors that we've worked with were watching this or any just watching online now, mm -hmm. um, is there something you'd like to say to them, you know, word of encouragement or anything you'd like to say? I would just say that there's such an inspiration that overcoming what they've been through and to just know that they have so many people thinking and praying for them and um, so many people to support like their next chapter in life. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for your time today, Emily.